So are you a bad person or not? I mean, OCD sure tells you that you are, you know, by the, all those thoughts and actions that you're doing. And no, I'm not gonna provide reassurance because we know that keeps you stuck. But what I am gonna tell you is what's happening in your brain and how we can challenge this belief that you are simply a bad person. First off, think about this. It is such an overgeneralization. Good person, bad person, what are we doing? Focus on one strand of information and we forget about everything else? That's exactly what OCD does. It forgets about all the good that you've done in the world because now you're bad. Think of OCD like an overprotective guardian, the kind that refuses you to step out of your comfort zone. It's like your brain's way of wanting to keep you safe, even if it means taking things to the extreme. It's like having a strict, well-intentioned parent who just never lets you cross the street. Even when you're a grown-up, no, sweetie, you can't cross the street without holding my hand. That's what OCD is like, even if you know better. It's always there. It's watching. It's saying, don't do that. It's wrong. You're a bad person if you do. But guess what? It's time to put your big kid pants on because we're going to talk about how we're going to challenge this thing. It's not going to be that overbearing guardian anymore. Because you see, the thing is OCD doesn't want you to take risks. It wants you to follow its strict rules, which are often so irrational and exaggerated. But in doing so, it can create a self-fulfilling prophecy, making you feel like a terrible person for just merely having a thought or defying its rules that it came up with. Like it's made up rules. It made them up. You're walking down the street and you suddenly have a distressing thought that crosses your mind. Man, OCD chimes in. You're a bad person for having that thought. I can't believe you. Other people don't have these thoughts. So you try to push it away. But guess what happens? You end up thinking about it more. It's like when someone says, don't think about pink elephants. And suddenly all you can think about is pink elephants. Why do we always use pink elephants as the example? It's interesting. <laughs> so how do you break free from this never ending loop and self doubt and guilt? Well, you might think it's our job to look at all the evidence and break it down. No, I'm not a bad person because I do this and I do this and I do this and I give back to the community and I help with this. Everyone has these kind of thoughts. I'm not gonna act on these thoughts. No, 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 I'm a good person. I'm, I would never do that kind of thing. This is a normal way to think, like that, that's just what we do. But what's actually happening is in the long run, we're making OCD worse. It seems like we're getting one step ahead, but really we're going backwards because what it does is say, that's inaccurate. Let me show you why, because you had that thought again. Oh really? Let me give you that thought one more time. It even produces a feeling to prove its point. So here's what we're gonna do instead. We act like we don't care. But Nate, if I act like I don't care, then it means that I like the thoughts. And if I like the thoughts, then it means I really am a bad person and I am gonna do something. But guess what? That's OCD talking, because it does not want to go away. We do this thing called exposure and response prevention. I take you through this step by step with worksheets, videos on my Master Your OCD online course. I'll link that down in the description. But here is some previews of what it looks like. I'm a bad person because I had a weird thought about hurting someone using ERP or exposure and response prevention. I'm gonna write down all those intrusive thoughts and I'm gonna repeatedly read them and expose myself to it in a controlled manner. I'm gonna engage like I just kind of don't care. Oh yeah, there's that thought, you know, I totally, I guess I could, you know, anything's possible. I accept it, I let it be without seeking reassurance, without giving into the feeling of, oh, I'm a bad person. It's like, oh yeah, okay, I guess, cool. I'm all right, sure, totally, okay. <laughs> we repeat this over and over and over until our brain stops sending these danger signals. But, but, but if I do this, then what if I really do give in? I just took down all my defenses. This is where we gain trust, realizing that nothing happens after we try to control it. But we can't be 100% sure, but we're always willing to risk it because we know that whatever's happening now, compulsion wise, we're not living life. What we're not doing is saying, no, I'd never do that. So I just imagine OCD coming out of the shadows. But are you sure? I must be a bad person because I had this blasphemous thought. Even at church, the approach, I'm gonna engage in activities or attend religious services that trigger these thoughts on purpose. I don't even have to bring them myself. If they happen, they happen. Rather than trying to suppress the thought or seek forgiveness, just let it be. Even if it's at church, even if it's at home, doesn't matter. Over time, this can help you essentially desensitize yourself to the distressing thought. It doesn't mean you have to like the thought. It doesn't mean that you're agreeing with the thought. It means that you're accepting you have a thought. Even if it's the worst thing imaginable, we're not saying it's good, we're not saying it's bad. We're like, man, there's a thought, cool. To even take that a step further, sometimes we're like, 
I hope I have those thoughts even more. Wow, so great, cool. Hope it happens at church while I'm there. Man, that'd be great. And the brain is like, wait, what? Remember, you're supposed to be scared. Why are you not scared? What's going on? Remember, this is dangerous. Because remember, OC doesn't want to go away when you fight it that way. I am a bad person for having a thought about a family member. Here's the approach. Spend time with a family member who triggers these intrusive thoughts. Engage in activities that you normally would. Rather than avoiding the family member or seeking reassurance, expose yourself to the situation. Allow the thought to come and to go without reacting to it. And man, this method applies to everything. What's happening in the brain is that it sends these danger signals. It says, what if, what if, what if? And when we're not responding to the what if, it's gonna make you feel like a bad person. Like that's just the reality of it. But even that feeling's a false signal in my mind. So what we're doing is we're like, yeah, man, cool. Sure, love the thought. Thanks, sweet, surely, awesome, cool, thank you. Hey, there's that thought again, sweet. And it's like, oh, you. Remember, you're supposed to give in. No, we don't fall for it. Eventually, those thoughts actually start dissipating on their own. So it's a two-parter here. We got the action, we got the response. I'm doing exposure therapy to risk the thoughts that I'm having are false. And I'm responding to it like I don't care. The feeling of being a bad person is just another intrusive thought. Another truth of feeling. We just keep living the life that you wanna live. That feeling of being bad doesn't wanna stick around because you're living life. We're not taking this overgeneralized good or bad. We're just saying, oh, well, there's a thought that people conceive as bad, but there's a thought, cool. The key is ERP is gradually confronting our intrusive thoughts. We are resisting the urges. We're not engaging in the compulsive behaviors. And over time, I mean, you just reduce anxiety. But I mean, anxiety is not the bad guy, but it tends to go away on its own. People just start living the life really that they wanna live. So at the beginning when I said, are you a good person or a bad person? Well, it's not our job to figure that out. That's ultimately what it's all about. Cause the more you try to do, the more you kind of get stuck. So does your brain try to convince you that you're a bad person? Let me know down in the comments and to enhance your skills even more. Go watch this video right here where I take you through more OCD treatment tips. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you next time.